I guess the defining moment of what made me go into audio and specifically post-production, it was like one of the first times I went to a movie theater. I forget what year it was, I would say early 90s, I saw Jurassic Park. The sound in that movie really like opened my eyes. I'm like, wow, what? That is amazing. You know, how did they do that? <laughs> I did some research and I found out that it was a combination of sounds. It was uh, polar bears and crocodiles and all this stuff to create all these different sounds for creatures that we don't know what they sound like. Apparently you can make a living doing sounds for movies. I didn't know that. The person that made that sound, he worked at Skywalker. And that was why I wanted to work at Skywalker. I was at UCF at the time and I started asking around to see if there was any, any type of programs that had to do with audio. Someone actually told me that there's a school called Full Sail that was down the street. Try looking for them. I did the program, it was a 13 month program at the time. And as soon as I graduated, I drove to LA and I've been in California ever since. There was another Full Sail grad that I had met once before at an AES convention in San Francisco. I shook his hand. I knew he worked at Skywalker but I didn't really know who he was. That person turned out to be Gary Rizzo. I remember when I shook his hand, I said, hey, if you guys ever need anybody, any help up here in San Francisco, whatever, let me know. I guess that one handshake got me in the door because I get a phone call from Full Sail saying, Gary Rizzo is looking for you. He remembered who I was. Um, he knew I was a Full Sail grad. It was all within like a month I was gone. I went up there and I've been there ever since. It's funny because sound is so powerful. Nowadays, you ask any kid what a dinosaur sounds like, and they're gonna say it sounds like what it sounds like in Jurassic Park. But before that, nobody ever knew what a dinosaur sounded like. The person that made that sound, uh, his name was Gary Rydstrom. My first job at Skywalker was his assistant. We got along great immediately. And after a while, I realized that I started working more and more on his shows. Not that I didn't like that, but I thought it was kind of odd that I was always working with him. And then somebody told me finally, it's like, you know, he's asking for you. So it all came full circle and it was amazing, you know? And he was, of course, the nicest person I've ever met. You know, it was, it was amazing. I just made the leap to jump from a mixed tech to becoming a mixer in the last six years. So to me, I feel like I'm still I'm still new and I'm still going through this and I'm still trying to make it. So I'm always kind of striving for more.